that they will be ranking brands based on aura level. And in case you don't know what aura it is, it is basically the presence you feel when someone walks into the room. An example would be like if Duke Dennis or Playboy Carter walked into a room you're in, you're definitely feeling some level of aura. Now, if you click on this video, you're probably wondering if you're auraful or swagless. And I'm going to be honest with you, you're probably swagless. But it's okay because after this tier list, you'll be able to reach Duke Dennis's level of aura if you watch all the way through. But let's get into the tier list. The top tier is Duke Dennis level aura, and then you have top tier aura, and then mid aura, then swagless, never wear this brand again, and then negative 2000 aura, you probably need to donate this to Goodwill. Now starting with Calvin Klein, honestly the only time I've ever seen Calvin Klein is on someone wearing skinny jeans and Sperry's. And honestly, if you're wearing that combination in 2024, you're a peon. Now the only thing good about Calvin Klein is literally their underwear. If you're wearing anything else from Calvin Klein, that is not acceptable. I've never seen a decent t-shirt or a pair of jeans from Calvin Klein. I'm putting Calvin Klein and swagless. The only thing saving them from negative 2000 aura is literally their underwear. The next one is American Eagle. Now I've never seen people wearing American Eagle out in public, so I'm gonna assume it's in a trash brand. All I know is that if one of my friends came up to me and said I'm dripped out today in American Eagle, I am not taking them seriously. I feel like this is a brand that has to have sales every day so they don't go bankrupt. Honestly, I'm gonna put this in negative 2000 aura. I'm sorry if you wear these, but I just can't put it any higher. The next one is Tommy Hilfiger. Now I used to be a Tommy Hilfiger demon back in middle school with those Sperry's and some tight skinny jeans, but looking back on those fits, they were swagless. Honestly, I feel like this is kind of a watered down polo, so I'm gonna put this in mid. To be honest, I haven't really seen much like insane stuff, but I haven't seen really bad stuff either. Now Champion, Champion's been around for a long time, pretty reliable brand, been at every Walmart across the United States. Now one time my mom bought me some champion shoes and she had to respectfully take that back to Ross. I'm grateful for the shoes she got me, but I cannot rock those unfortunately. Champion's a solid brand, nothing too crazy, so I'm gonna put them in mid. Now Under Armour, I grew up wearing a lot of Under Armour because my dad wore it too, but they're kind of mid now. The only reason Under Armour is relevant is because of Steph Curry and without Steph Curry, they would be irrelevant. I've never met someone who's choosing Under Armour over something like Adidas or Nike. It's just not a logical decision. The only reason I would be caught wearing Under Armour right now is if I'm wearing curries or something on the basketball court. Other than that, I am never picking up Under Armour ever again. Under Armour is personally going in the mid category for me. Not a bad brand though. Now Polo. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm very biased to Polo. It's one of my favorite brands, but I'm gonna try to not glaze too much. Their full tech fleece with a hoodie and sweatpants is probably the best one you can get, even better than a Nike tech. Their designs are pretty simple, but it's always good quality. The only thing is that they're overpriced, but I'm still going to glaze and put them in Duke Dennis. Pause. Now you can hit on me all you want for that, but it is what it is. It had to be done. Reebok instantly negative 2000 aura. I've never seen one thing that looks good from Reebok. All the shoes, ugly. All the pants, ugly. All the shirts, ugly. All the hoodies, ugly. The whole brand is just trash. The only good thing they had was Allen Iverson, and he couldn't even save them. Now Puma is kind of the same as Reebok. The only thing they have is Lamelo Ball with his Mello shoes. So I'm honestly I'm gonna have to put these in swagless with Calvin Klein. The only thing that boosted them was Lamelo Ball. Now Adidas, Adidas is a good brand. They also helped create some of the best Yeezys ever made. If I opened up my present on Christmas Day and it was something from Adidas, I wouldn't be too mad. So I'm gonna put Adidas in top tier aura. Now the best brand of all time in my opinion. Nike has literally all the athletes, all the collaborations. They even have the drawing brand. They can't be stopped. I'm definitely glazing Nike, but they're gonna have to go in Duke Dennis category. You literally can't say Nike is any lower because if you do, you'll sound stupid. Now, I think this is a pretty good list. I'm not gonna lie. I might move Nike over Polo and then, uh, nah, Reebok can stay the lowest, but that's a pretty good list. I'm not gonna lie. Let me know in the comments if you would change anything about the list and let me know if you would add any brands onto it. But thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and check out my other tier list on sneakers if you haven't already.